I fuck with Shawty cause she bout her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. Hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today we're going to be making a corset out of Converse sneakers. These are the materials that you're going to need. I ain't talking about my revenue. That's what every second that I get to do. Exactly what I the first step is to remove your shoelaces from your Converse shoes before we start to deconstruct the shoe. Afterwards, we're going to be using our X-Acto knife just to cut the fabric from the base of the shoe. And to do so, you just want to use your X-Acto knife and your scissors. Just continue to go back and forth using those and cut around that base of the shoe. You wanna be sure not to cut through your fabric because this is all the fabric you have to use from the shoe. So just carefully cut around and remove the fabric from the base of the shoe. But I'm riding in a beamer, yeah, yeah, ain't no two-seater More room to kick my feet up huh. Feeling like a boss-ass bitch these days Life is more than just getting paid Yeah, you could bet your chips Hope and wish and lose it all so quick these days Yeah, this is the gift mama gave me Yeah, this is the week that he raised me And when I get stressed, I just remember I'm blessed Ain't no complaining, I ain't changing I ain't really got no blame You want to make sure that you deconstruct both shoes And once you're done, this is what you should have The base and the top of the shoe so for the first top part, we got two tops. So for the first top, we're gonna just split the back of that right there in the middle of that seam. You just wanna split it all the way through. Now on these Converse shoes, it was like a little hard plastic thing underneath that fabric. So I couldn't really cut through it. And I ended up just removing it by hand. You also may want to do that just depending on what shoes you actually have. I don't know if all the Converse come with that little plastic part. But in case they do, you definitely want to remove that before you start cutting. And once again, you just want to split right there down the middle with your scissors just to cut it in half. Once that's done, you want to remove the tongue of the shoe. So you just want to simply cut off the tongue as close as possible to the white part. I ain't flexing like these bitches do. Once you're all done, this is what you should have. And this will be your front bodice piece, basically. The steps for the second top piece are similar, but a little different. So we want to cut it in half at the back seam like we did the first one. But then we want to just remove those flaps completely. So you want to just cut off both sides from the tongue area. So this time we won't be using the tongue. We'll only be using those sides with the eyelets on them. Once you're all done deconstructing your shoes, this is what you should have. The front piece and the two side pieces. Now it's just time to put all these pieces together. So basically what you want to do is attach the side pieces upside down from how it would be on a regular shoe, if that makes sense. So as you can see, this is how we're going to construct the shoe. And we're just going to sew along this line on both sides. Once everything is sewn together, this is basically what the corset would look like without the strings. If you're nervous about the fabric moving around, please use pins and that'll help you keep that together and keep it in place. Always remember starting in with a back stitch. And for this, we're just going to use a regular straight stitch. Only. 
so now that we have this seam sewn together this is what it looks like put all together and you also can press this down in case you want it to look very very flat and seamless press it down so that you can have that flawless look because right now it's all bulgy but this is what you should have once you're done sewing and your only next step now is just to clean up any edges that you would like this is totally up to you but now i'm going to add an extra eyelet from another um tutorial i saw that she added eyelets up there so i thought that was a great idea so i'm just going to add eyelets at the top i'm going to use my marker to mark exactly where i want my eyelets to be and then i'm just going to insert the eyelets there this is just me trying to decide what color eyelets i wanted to use and i ended up just using white i actually should have used orange now that i'm looking but i use white it really doesn't matter they all serve the same purpose and they all look good so i'm just using my marker marking the spot and then i'm going to insert the eyelet Okay, so the corset is basically complete at this point. All we have to do is add in the laces, and you can do this however you would like. Just add in those laces right in the front, and then we're going to use cord for the backing. You can also use whatever you would like for the back. I just use cord. I don't even really like the cord. I want a different color cord, <laughs> but I'm going to use cord. So I had this black cord left over from another project I was working on so I'm just going to use that to lace up the back and this is it guys this is the finished look this is the finished product a corset made out of Converse tennis shoes now unfortunately this thing was too small for your girl she's too blessed up top so I wasn't able to wear it but this is still bum I'm thinking about selling it to somewhere smaller so yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. That's all I have for you guys. So may your curls pop and your grind never stop flavor squad. I'm out of here.